Hi there, welcome back. In the past, I have shown a way to use Fusion Mask tools in the edit page by creating simple effect templates, like you see here, there are four effects for different shapes. Most of the time, they are good for simple editing requirements. But sometimes I find it's not as user-friendly as I would expect. Because only one mask type can be applied at a time, it's tedious to switch the effect back and forth in order to find the right shape for the need. So I decided to look deeper into the composition and created this new template called Essential Masks, which combines all the basic shapes that can work together in the same effect. Once the mask effect is applied to the clip in the timeline, a default rectangle mask is enabled. We can go to the Effects tab in the Inspector and adjust the mask settings with these parameters. The first setting, Mask Type, is used to change the mask shape. To best utilize the effect, we should turn on the Fusion Overlay in the viewer. Now if we change the mask type, we will see different on-screen controls for different shapes. For the polygon and B-spline, nothing is defined initially. We just need to click on the viewer and start creating the shape as needed. Please note many of the keyboard shortcuts will not work in the edit page viewer, such as Ctrl A or Command A to select all control points on the path. A reliable way to use these commands is using the context menu. Right click in the viewer and choose the select all command from the menu. These two often used commands Shift L and Shift S don't work either. Similarly, in the B-spline mode, we can easily define the shape in the viewer. The solo mode option is used to control how these different mask shapes work with each other. When this mode is on, only one type can be used as we are seeing now. This option is on by default. When this option is turned off, the shapes can be added or subtracted via the paint mode drop-down list. We can create our own unique mask shape, combining the result from these different masking types. Since the rectangle is considered the main effect mask, it doesn't have this paint mode options. The option is only applicable to the three shapes on the right. The rest of the parameters are the same ones as you see in the Fusion page. They are only related to the mask type selected. These parameters are also animatable with keyframing. For example, we can keyframe the center point to move the mask from one place to another. For polygon and B-spline, we can also animate the shape by keyframing this shape animation setting. Go to the beginning of the clip. Mark a keyframe. Move the playhead forward a bit, change the shape. Another keyframe is added automatically as we change the shape. Play the clip, the mask is now transforming from the starting shape to the end. If you want to know more details of the effect, you can click this icon to open the composition in the Fusion page. Double click the Essential Masks node group and you can see all the nodes used for the effect. This template is relatively simple and straightforward. The four most used masking types are chained together as the effect mask input of this mask options node, which is a merge node that takes the media in as the foreground input. All right, that's all for today. I hope you will find this template useful. Please leave a comment if you have questions or suggestions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.